Space Engineers and I are like a bad 80s movie. Every time I think I'm done, it pulls me back in for just one more job. Um, so I made this. This is the hi-hat. And the hi-hat is a starter ship. It has two assemblers and two refineries and one arc furnace and one oxygen generator and two oxygen tanks and two plugs for ships to connect to or for you to grab stuff out of. It's, it's all very straightforward. So what makes this special? Well, I investigated the damage pattern of engines. After they changed the thruster damage pattern and uh, made some of my ships burn themselves out, I was like, I never actually tested out the extents of these damage patterns. And I found that you can, in fact, uh, totally tweak your ship to have stuff in front of your engines, as long as you choose the right stuff. So for a small reactor, or sorry, for a small thruster, you can put these in front of them, and they don't get damaged. For a large engine, you can put it in this pattern, and they won't get damaged. And I was like, ah, how interesting. So I made this sleek little ship, which has no exposed engines. This is a starter vessel, so it has no weapons, and it's not really intended to uh, last forever, but it is substantially larger than your normal starting vessel, and it does have some connectors, so you can continue using it when you build small ships. You don't have to worry about immediately building a base or anything. It doesn't come with any upgrade modules, but you can see it's very easy to add them in. I've left the space there for you. And it has some legs, so you can land on asteroids, or hook yourself to a base, or whatever you need to do. I do not recommend using them in multiplayer. And I do not recommend landing on a planet that has natural gravity, because this thing probably doesn't have enough vertical thrust to get back off the ground. So what's the inside look like? It's a very spartan ship. It's quite small, and you can see that there's not a whole lot of wasted space. Uh, everything in here has a function. Jump drive, battery, cryo... This is Mimir and the timer you need to run him. Uh, over here is your status. You can see it says how much cargo you used, whether your reactors are online. You have two reactors, and it will determine whether or not they get offline, whether that's because someone shoots at them or because you run out of uranium, it'll tell you. Uh, it has some battery and some jump. If you want to be able to fly it while you can see, you can go ahead and sit up here. It's got a pretty nice view. And, of course, this button works fine. Whee! So that's the hi-hat. It's a very basic ship, but I'm so pleased that I managed to design a ship that looks like a ship. <laughs> Can you believe it, guys? This ship isn't incredibly ugly. Yeah, it might not be pretty, but... It's not so ugly that it causes heart attacks in the elderly. So I consider this a total win. You can pick it up at the workshop. It's vanilla. You can paste it into any world you'd like. Um, the, the blueprint does have some, some uranium in, a, in it, but obviously if you're in creative mode, that'll work. And if you're not, you'll have to get your own uranium. Have a good one.